Okay, so the first few clips are going to be against the Macrocosm boss, Zoark. And I was using my Bump of the Night rocket launcher with Demo and Chill Clip. Really wanted to see how this rocket would do. And since I wasn't able to actually use it during the day one raid, this was actually my first time using it. And of course, they absolutely puts in work. As long as you don't have multiple people running a Chill Clip rocket launcher, and you're not fighting for the Wither Horde tick damage to get your grenades for your demo, then you are going to be a-okay with this every time. Just a nice little appetizer for anybody that likes this rocket launcher like me. Now let's actually move on to business and talk a little bit about the Thunderlord specifically specifically against Nezorak, as this is where I believe this gun really shines. It could do some work against the first boss, yeah, but against Nezorak himself? I don't know if it has something to do with Nezorak's hitbox specifically, but Thunderlord really, really cooks this dude, okay? Like, a lot. Now, let me just paint the picture for you real quick, because our fire team isn't even fully maxed out in Thunderlord damage, right? Because one of our homies didn't even have the catalyst for the Thunderlord lord meaning we weren't even fully optimized and this thing was still cooking of course we still needed to have a div for the debuff but by the first damage phase put up some pretty good damage okay almost put up two mil but this next clip we got a lot luckier with nezarak rng just where he decided to stand how many times he was jumping in the air and how many times he was teleporting my, my guy dude we got really lucky okay just absolutely laying to waste on this dude that sounds so bad out of context also we do have two warlocks with the lunafaction wells just so we have faster reloads in case we do have to reload which if you're not on a titan with active war rig you are gonna have to reload okay and you definitely want to have the div bubble to help proc the thunderlord's catalyst to juice up your damage even further also helping on cutting your reloading which you definitely don't want to do during a damage phase right and dude look how close we were of one phasing him with the freaking lmg okay after we had that damage phase we were said yeah we'll just go ahead and knock this dude out that was pretty damn impressive for an LMG. However, myself personally, I definitely want to go for the one phase. But I'm definitely going to need some help with that. If any of you guys out there watching the video right now got a Thunderlord Catalyst, y'all want to one phase Nezarek with an LMG, hit me up, bro. I really want to make this happen. If you and your squad haven't tried a Thunderlord against Nezarak, I highly recommend doing so as it does put in the work. You have zero risk of blowing yourself up with it and it's very easy to actually use. Just hold left click, profit. And then real quick, we'll go ahead and take a look at the end game damage screen now that we can actually do that when you complete an activity. And as you can see, Thunderlord put in that work. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. You guys be safe.